hello trader scale 24 here and uh, today I, I did a video regarding the creating AI bot that covers multiple digits not one digit step-by-step -step guide and um, on regarding that bot uh, I was requested to in the over under AI bot can you please show such that it can ask for an entry point on the screen asking you to input the trading digit and that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you how to add the entry point on the AI board whereby it will be prompting you on the screen to enter the entry point that whenever the last digit is the is your entry point then the bot will automatically start uh, running now let's get to to our board already I've loaded this board I'm not going to reset this uh, to the initial one because I don't want to go all the way uh, repeating creating the AI bot again if you want to at, to be at this point then watch this video until the end then you'll you'll have this setup as it is um, now I want to add to add the AI to add the AI on our to add the entry point on our AI bot let's get started so we need uh, to create a variable by the name entry point entry point like this then uh, upon creating we need to set set the entry point to we need it to prompt us so we need uh, to input you can just search input right over here input and it's supposed to to bring in this prompt for number with then a text enter your entry point. point just by doing these once we hit run you will see it's supposed to prompt us as you can see enter your entry point but for now we have not uh, told the bot that is supposed to use this entry point if, even if we do when uh, key in assuming we key in digit 5 it will immediately start uh, purchasing contracts of which that is not what we want now having achieved that we need now the bot to run until it gets the the entry point um, let's start there are two cases whereby um, the bot can be waiting each and every time for the for the last digit to be to be your entry point and there is the entry point whereby it will just initialize the bot to start running once the bot starts running now it will continuously purchase contracts without waiting for the next uh, for before it uh, it purchases the second contract before uh, checking the the entry point like the second contract will just purchase without waiting for the entry point there are two cases for these i'll show both the two cases now let's get started we need a if we do not need if we need, we need a loops then a repeat we also need run after run after we need math right over here run after i'll put zero seconds math i want also infinity so that it will run to infinity until the conditions are met infinity like that we also need a text so that we need we need to get to know our last our last digits in the market we can choose either to just use a notification alone that will initialize it this notification here like um, notify green and uh, last digit analysis tick last digit and mind you there is always a difference between the last digit and the last tick so like that and we need logic if we need logic again to compare compare need variables if entry point is equals to the last digit 
break out we need to break out of a uh, small loop if this condition is true then the boat will automatically break out of this loop now i want i want to show you uh, the first case as you can see uh let me run the boat now at this case and i'll put a entry point as digit five as you can see the, the bot is printing the last digit here once the last uh, the last digit of the price once the last digit is digit 5 then the bot is supposed to to purchase a contract as you can see the bot went on to, to purchase another contract and on the first contract ending it went on to look for another to wait until the last digit is digit 5 to purchase the other contract i don't know if now you are you are getting what i was trying to say as you can see in each in every contract after the contract has been closed it goes back to, to wait until the last digit is the is the entry point now let me show you the other one uh, we'll just add on another thing right over here we just call it a call it entry point uh, let's call it just loop like that then set set loop to need true or false right over there set it to true just need this cup block right over here if loop is equals to true then run all this shenanigan right over here run all this loop we need to remove this part here outside like that and uh, now we duplicate this loop and to bring it right over this point and we set it to false now i want you to show i want to show you the difference in uh, this this one let me reset make sure that everything is reset now let me run the bot as you can see enter your entry point assuming i just use again digit 5 the bot will wait until the last digit is digit 5 and on continuing now it will continuously purchase contracts without waiting for digit 5 again I don't know if you have gotten the difference the first one in ev in every contract it was waiting for for entry point but for this one it's just the first contract for a bot to start running that is waiting for the entry point and that's all uh, regarding adding entry point to your to your to your derive bot yes we can do the second time and see I use digit 5 again whenever the last digit is digit 5 here then the bot will immediately start purchasing contract and from that point it will continuously purchase contract without without uh, waiting for the entry point that's all make sure to subscribe to my youtube page for more informative content like this i will attach a video a link to for you to be able to access this bot right on the description box and also on the pinned comment on the comment section that's all